So our question today is, what is the intertestamental period? Now, you might recognize a word in that really big word up there on top, and that is the word testament. The Bible is split up into two testaments, one that is called the Old Testament, and one that is called the New Testament. Now, the most important characters in the Old Testament, besides God, of course, are the Jews or his people. And in the New Testament, there is, of course, Jesus. Now, did you know that there are 400 years between the Old Testament and what God is doing there, and then the New Testament and what God is doing there? 400 years that are just represented with an empty page in our Bible. Now, there's three things that you need to know about what happened between the Old Testament with God's people, the Jews, and the New Testament with Jesus, God's son. The first thing is that there was an empire of the Greeks. Now you might have heard of Alexander the Great. He was the first leader, but the nations that came after that, they disrespected the Jews quite a bit. Probably the best example is that they took a pig and sacrificed it in the temple on God's altar. A terrible thing. Now what was good about this time was that the Greeks had one language, you might guess it, which is Greek. And by everyone speaking one language, the Greek language, the message of the gospel would have been able to spread so much faster. Now let's go to the second part. The second part is run by a group of Jews called the Maccabees. The Maccabees were a group of Jewish men that did not like the Greeks, did not appreciate them disrespecting them. And so they fought against them. And for many years, they ruled in Israel. Now, the third one is the Romans. About 50 years before Jesus was was born, the Romans came into into Israel and conquered that, that nation. Now, where the Greeks brought the language, the Romans built fast highways. And so now we've come to Jesus. And by Jesus' time, we have one language that almost everyone spoke. And we have super fast highways So once Jesus has left, his followers can share the gospel quickly by speaking the same language, and they can move very fast across the Roman Empire on their highways. So let's quickly recap. The intertestamental period is in between the Old Testament, where God worked through the Jews, and the New Testament, where God worked mainly through Jesus. There are three sections of those 400 years. The Greeks that disrespected the Jews but did teach everyone the same language the Jewish group called the Maccabees, which fought against the Greeks and started a small Jewish nation for a couple hundred years. And then shortly before Jesus was born, the Romans, that built the fast highways. So now when Jesus came, there was one language and fast highways to bring his message to the whole world.